Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing doing another video. Um, this one actually involves the AFR 210 head and I'm flowing at stock. Um, this head's been ran, so I did clean up the port so there's no carbon stuff in it. And anyway, I'm flowing at stock and then with the rocker arm stud just like it is. And then I'm going to shove it down as far as this one goes. This is actually for a big block, this rocker stud, so it's extremely long. I'm going to screw it down as far as I can. it can go to see how much flow you, you lose with it sticking way down the port. And I'm doing my best to show you this, so bear with me. But just to give you an idea, that this is as far as it goes before it actually stops bottom out. Can you see that? So how much is that worth versus... Doing this real again. How much is that worth versus that? So this is flush. So it's right at the top. Perfect. So how much um, CFM did you lose doing that? That's what this one's about. Now, it's also about the AFR 210 head itself. So this is the AFR 210, the race head. If you notice, it says 210, 220. means this cast can be used for either one when they CNC port them. The uh, part number back here is a 1054. Okay, so I float it. I'm going to show you real quick. This is my... There we go. Here's what they flow stock. Now, I know AFR claims whatever. This is a 4155 board that was flowed on. So this right here, this cylinder one, is what it flows stock um, for right on my bench. So I don't know what they claim, but whatever they claim, it's probably not flowing that because it looks like it's flowing 295 at 600 maybe here. Yeah, 600, then it starts um, backing up. And if you watch my other video, I talk about why it backs up and flow. So I'm sure you'll see someone comment, well, no one has a can of over 600 and it crosses these points twice. Watch the other video to understand why it's important. This is the exhaust flow. I'm just doing this because this head's gonna be used for a customer. So I just, this, I always try to give the stock numbers and then I'm going to port this head. So you'll have, you'll have the ported numbers later on. So I've never, I flowed the whole head, but for this purpose of the test, and by the way, this exhaust numbers you see are without an exhaust pipe. AFR flows them with an exhaust pipe, and I kind of think that manipulates the numbers because if you flow ahead, say, with a 1 and 7 inch pipe, it will flow more. But then if you flow with a 2 and a quarter inch pipe, it will flow even more, even though in a live engine you'll actually make less power. So I always flow them without an exhaust pipe. So just give me that. But anyway, this first cylinder you see here, this is the rocker arm stud is perfectly flush with the uh, top of the port. So perfectly flush, like it looks like it should be perfect. This is when I shove the rocker arm stud down as far as it can go, what you just saw. And these are the numbers you get. Now, if you notice, this is the difference. How much flow did you lose or gain? And if you look at the numbers between one and two, it, and it looks like, wow, um, that's not what I expected at all because, well, it's not what you expected at all. And I'll try to give you a reason for it in just a minute. So if you go through this real quick, it lost flow at one, one tenth of an inch valve lift, two tenths it's lost, at three tenths it's lost, and then it starts to gain. So gain 1.4, 2.6, almost five CFM at 600 lift. It picked up, then minus 1.5, minus 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and at um, one inch of valve lift, they're the same. Now, some of you are like, well, those numbers are so close. Um, could this be within the margin of error? The, this bench holds things pretty close. And the way I take a, a flow test is uh, this computer program, when I press it to record the readings, it will take 20 readings and it will average them. And what you see on the, sheet, the chart here is the average of those 20 numbers. So the valve lift and everything stay the same. It just averages those numbers because power fluctu fluctuations and other stuff can cause it to drift maybe one or two CFMs, maybe. This keeps it pretty close to the same. But there is no doubt that you are going to gain flow on this head with the stud sticking in the port. Now, you might be saying, oh my gosh, this guy knows nothing. What's he talking about? Well, I want you to understand something first. First, just give you, this is the graphical representation. So this blue one stock, this one's with the stud sticking through. Uh, first, let me talk about why did this happen? Well, I don't want you thinking that having a rocker arm stud sticking down the port helps the flow because it um, helps your engine make more power because it doesn't. It doesn't. This head is one of those heads where it's different. And 
I would say if you had something sticking down the port, sometimes it could hurt and sometimes it could help a head, even though you would think it would always hurt. Well, the reason for this, and I'm gonna do my best to explain, I'm sorry I'm not the best at explaining on this, is I'm gonna go back over the head to show you. This head, it's a very fast moving port. In other words, the airspeed coming through here is super fast. Um, that's the reason why it's backing up in flow. What's happening is the air is coming in here so fast, it's ramping the short side and crashing into the back of the wall and actually shutting down the flow zone. So that's why it loses flow above 600 lift. So when you shove the rock arm stud in it, further down, what's doing is you're actually blocking some of the flow. And you're like, well, wouldn't it flow less? You would think that, but what it's actually doing is it's slowing down the airspeed. So if I slow down the airspeed because I'm blocking part of it, it can't go as fast through here. So what happens is since it's going slower, it now can make the turn and it picks up slightly a um, slight amount of airflow. But this right here, the stud sticking down in there, if this port was proper, this would hurt it. This port's not proper, it's too fast, so when I stick it down in there and I slow the airspeed, and now it can make the turn and it flows more air. Um, if the port was properly designed, perfect. When I put something in its way, it would lose flow. If it was perfect world, that's what would happen. This one just, just doesn't happen to be that way. So, um, this is, in case you're wondering why I did this video, this was for you, I think it's TPV or TMB or something, I'm sorry if I did your name wrong. But uh, just trying to remember off memory, and I'm getting older. But anyway, um, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Um, if you guys have more, just let me know. I'll try to do more videos as I can. And thanks for subscribing. Hopefully someday I'll get rich off YouTube. Anyway, uh, thank you.